All right, so today we're gonna to be talking a little bit about how to try to figure out what's going on inside the head when we're doing all of these psychology things that you've been looking at throughout this entire museum. What we're gonna do is do a live demonstration of EEG, which is electroencephalography. And electroencephalography is based on the principle that our brains work electrically, that there are signals being sent between neurons that are electrical within the neuron itself, and after it transfers chemicals between the neurons in the synapse, you then have a, uh, a series of what we call graded potentials. And those graded potentials are little tiny electrical signatures. And it turns out, if we take the right kind of electrode, we can amplify that at the scalp level, and we can figure out when different events were happening in the brain. So electroencephalography is really good at telling us when things happen in the brain, and a little bit at telling us how bored someone's getting, how interested they are in the task, different uh, general ideas of cognition. So I'm gonna talk a lot today about the idea of what these electrodes are doing, okay? Each electrode is small. Each electrode will be placed on one place in the scalp. And that's just gonna pick up a minute little signal. Scalp signals, you have an electrical aspect that hits the scalp and then it distributes. It spreads all the way across the entire scalp. So at every electrode that we put in, we're gonna pick up a neural signature, but it's gonna be massively spread. We'll pick it up more strongly in certain areas than others. And what we're gonna do over the course of this is to try to bring it all together so you can see what's happening in the brain at a certain time. As I go into a little slot that's in the top of each of these amplifiers, I go in with a flat tipped needle that no one can feel. Can you feel that at all? Nope. Good. And now you're gonna feel something. Yep. And I drop a little bit of gel in. I'm gonna wiggle it around and I'm gonna give it a second to get to where it needs to be because the gel will start to set and it will start to form a connection between that specific electrode. What we've done, the first step in any kind of um, EEG is to create a really solid signal at every single one of the electrodes. And what we're going to do now is see not just what they look like in color, which we can turn off the light for a second so you can see them. Multiple colors. There we go. Go ahead and grab your mirror and you can look at yourself as you lay out. <laughs> <laughs> you were all ready. Okay? So, this is called impedance mode. And what we're doing is setting up the EEG itself. We're trying to get a feel for how good of a signal we're getting. And once we know we have a good signal, we say, okay, we are good to go. And then we can start to look at what the actual signal looks like. So here is what your actual signal looks like. You're seeing individual electrodes. Each of these lines represents an individual electrode. So for instance, the very top one is what's called FP1. There's a coordinate system that identifies where electrodes are. FP1 means frontal polar one. Frontal polar one is your channel right here. And I'm pressing. And you see, when I press the electrode, you can see a rhythm to it. Okay? Now we'll let that reset. And what ends up happening is you actually work your way through frontal channels around the left side of the scalp. Because in any kind of coordinate system with EEG, the left side of the scalp is, are the odd numbers. So it'll say F, it'll say C, it'll say P, so it's talking about frontal, central, parietal, different areas of the brain, and then it'll say left or right side by talking about the number that's there. So an odd number is left, an even number is right. It works its way all the way around. Your blink channel on the left-hand side is that very top one. Your blink channel on the right-hand side is your very bottom one. So the first thing I'm going to have you do, we'll zoom in one more. Here, let's go to you. There we go. I want to show a couple of standard things that happen in an EEG. So when we're looking at an EEG, there are certain types of things that we know always happen. Ali, the first thing I want you to do is shake your head back and forth from side to side. Okay. So what we see in a good system is not a ton of issue, but what you see are a lot of random movements happening throughout the entire EEG signal. And those aren't actually caused by the brain. That's not muscle move, or that's not uh, your brain telling your muscles to move. That's actual artifact, that's secondary stuff that comes in to try to talk about what exactly is going on in the brain. The most important thing that you always see, though, and the top channel and the bottom channel are very rhythmic beats. That's not the heart. Allie, mm -hmm. 10 times in a row for me. Starting now. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So what happens when you're blinking is you see a massive change 
in the electrical signal. And that's because you're picking up muscle movement from right above both eyes. And the first thing that we need to know is what's going on in the brain is always much, much smaller than what's actually going on from muscles or from the environment, okay? So now, here's what I want you to do. I'm gonna have you close your eyes, and I want you to try to relax as much as you can. So I'm gonna give you about a minute to try to fall asleep. Okay. <laughs> okay, what you're gonna be noticing as we look through the past signal are all of these little bumps that are going across at a pretty even pace across. And that's because as someone starts to relax, your brain, the waves, the electrical signatures are not a singular electrical signature. They're made up of densities of a whole bunch of different things. And so in classes, I explain this as a symphony, essentially, a bunch of different instruments playing at certain loudness or softness. And we have to think of it that way. All of those little bumps that were just happening were a specific density called alpha. And that alpha density, as it gets more and more intense, means you're falling asleep. And as you start to fall asleep and get bored, I can see it in your neural pattern because it's not the entire wave, but there's a frequency modulation that keeps happening. You keep seeing a rhythmic set of beats, and that means someone is falling asleep while they're doing an EEG. Okay? So, the other thing that I want you to do now, let's let this reset, and then I'm gonna have you talk, a, I'm gonna have you say something. So, let's have to go ahead and ask her some questions. Allie, what is your favorite color? Blue. Uh, what is your optimal weather temperature that you would prefer to be? 50s and 60s. Okay, and where do you hope to live one day? I have no idea, but somewhere with family probably. Okay, okay. so what you're noticing across this is that just by speaking, you see a massive amount of muscle movement. As well. The big thing about EEG is anything happening in the brain is tiny compared to anything else you are doing. And so we have to have a situation where we're recording where people aren't swallowing. They hopefully aren't blinking that much because we can get rid of blink, but it's hard to filter out after the fact. And so we walk across and each of these lines is actually made up of a series of unique sets of frequencies. So you have a little bit of alpha going on right now, you have a little bit of beta because you're probably thinking through what, what ex exactly is going on, and beta is really about everyday thinking. And you have some gamma going on right now, you're probably engaging in social cognition, you're thinking about interactions with others, and so you have a certain frequency of gamma at every single one of these electrodes. You have a certain frequency of theta, and theta is also about uh, early attention and getting yourself uh, ready to go. And so you combine all of these for the neural signature that we see at any given time. That is the basic idea of EEG.